Hey everyone out there, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultants, and I record these videos for the people who've taken my class. So, um, someone reached out to me and had a VLAN question. It had been a while since I'd done VLANs in GNS3, and I know I recorded a video uh, a year or so back about VLANs, and I think I made it a lot more complicated than it needed to be. So, this is going to be a very short demo of how VLANs work in GNS3. You Using that internal uh, uh, Ethernet switch application that comes with GNS3. And basically, guys, when you turn on VLANs on the FortiGate itself, it becomes a trunk port. And with that trunk port, we can go ahead and tag frames on the switch, and then the FortiGate can actually uh, read each one of those VLAN tags as an independent broadcast domain. So um, it is not too difficult to do. So, and I'm just going to do it here so you guys can do it yourselves and practice with it. So, uh, the FortiGate that I am using is one of the free VMs, all right? So, if you go to the support website, you can download those. I also apologize off the top, guys. I'm, I'm sick this weekend, so I'm going to be recording a lot, but my voice sounds like crap. So, sorry about that. Anyway, so here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and do some VLAN tagging in GNS3. So, let's open up our our switching icon here and here's the ethernet switch and this isn't a real appliance in the sense of like uh you know it's not like a cisco switch or anything like that um it is just going to be gns3's little ethernet switch and it doesn't do a bad job um the only thing guys is that i have ran into at least in in uh, earlier versions i've overwhelmed this thing and it's dropped packets on me so um at that point i would go ahead and use something like the open v switch which comes with gns3 that you can download i think it's a docker and it does a pretty darn good job but uh i'm just going to keep this really basic so um but here we go so the fortigate is booted up this right here is just a web term box so we can have a gui right so here's our, our gui to do our configuration and let's go ahead and uh, connect port 3 all right to the switch and then from the switch we'll do port 1 to the PC. Now this will be without VLAN tags. All right. So we're just going to configure this like normal. And this FortiGate is out of the box. I have not touched it yet. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to log in. I'm going to do a configure uh, system interface and I'm going to edit my port three. And I'm going to do a show here. And as you can see, it's a physical interface. And Remember, the show will show us basic settings and things that we have configured, but if we do a get here, you see everything, all right? So you see like the VDOMs, you see the broadcast forwarding domains, all this good stuff. Uh, but mainly, guys, is that you're going to see some of the VLAN information in here. So for starters, you shouldn't have to touch any of these VLAN forwarding, all right? So um, now it gets a little bit trickier if you're running in transparent mode. Um, if I ever do a transparent mode demo, I'll probably throw that in there. But as you guys can see, this is where you can look into the different, the different settings here. So, all right, not a big deal. I'm just kind of doing that to reiterate it. So, but let's go ahead and set an IP address. So let's do a uh, set IP to 10, 10, 10, 254. All right. And then for our PC over there to be able to access it, we have to do a set allow access. Let's do HTTP and ping access. All right. So there we go. Not a big deal. Now we should be able to come into here. And this guy does have an IP address of 10, 10, 10, 10. So let's go up to the web browser, put in the IP address of the FortiGate, and uh, it should be able to access it. So maybe maybe oh 10 10 10 10 jeez come on guys did i mention i'm sick it's 254 that was the ip address of the pc itself man i gotta lay off the cough syrup all right here we go so admin no password all right now everything that's coming in here is coming onto the physical interface of port 3 and that is the native vlan so um you know the native vlan is the one that is is associated with physical interfaces. So when we make our VLANs, right, we give it a number that's beside the VLAN. So um, let's go ahead and do it. So let's go to network, let's go to interfaces. 
And as you can see with our port three, that's what we configured here. All right, but let's go ahead and create a couple of interfaces. So we'll say interface and we will call this interface name uh, test one, I don't know, VLAN coming off of port three and the VLAN number is gonna be 100, all right? So, and then after that, we just treat it like a physical interface. So we'll give it an IP address of 10, 10, 20, 254, right? With a slash 24, we'll give it ping access, okay? And then we'll also throw on DHCP just so we can check out some broadcasting and all that good stuff, okay? So, and that essentially makes port three a trunk port an 802.1q junk in your trunk port all right so you can expand that out okay so uh, let's go ahead and create another one here just for giggles and we'll just say test two now once these things are created you have to treat them just like they were a physical interface even though they're logical so firewall policy still apply blah 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 so um here we go we'll just say test two all right bound to port three this one will do 200 and we'll just say 10 10 30 254 with slash 24 right we'll give it a ping access so we can at least ping it and some dhcp all right cool so here we go all right, so we now have one physical interface and two VLANs bound to port three. And uh, let's go ahead and test it out. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, minimize that. And just for the sake of testing, I am going to do a packet capture right here. Okay. Here we go. Actually, you know what? I want to do it. Oh, look at all that. It's because I kept my web browser up. <laughs> Let me close that out, guys. So you're going to see here, though, that there is no VLAN tags, because obviously it's before the switch. That's because I'm an idiot. So, all right, here we go. Let me stop capturing that. All right, I swear I got to rehearse these things. Here we are. So let's do a packet capture here after the switch. So remember, guys, this is going to act as a trunk port. All right. So um, here we go. And it's pretty quiet right now. So let's go ahead and just send a ping. And this is, you know, the native physical port. So let's get a terminal here and let's just ping the, the gateway or the FortiGate. All right. So there it is. And as you guys can see here, I mean, there is no tagging involved. All right. Can you guys see any kind of VLAN tag there? Oh, I can't see a VLAN tag. All right. And the reason why is because we have not made that interface into a trunk port yet. So let's go ahead and do that next. So let's open up this bad boy and we'll say, hey, you know what? On port zero, which is attached to port three of the FortiGate, I need you to be a dot one q port and then we hit add all right oh man that is not what i wanted to do come on zero there we go dot q and we hit add see how it changed it to dot one q all right we hit apply we hit okay all right and now let's go ahead and get out some other pcs here all right I guess we got to build the rest of our topology. So where's my my virtual PCs? We'll just use these little guys right here. So this will be on one subnet. This will be on another subnet on a different VLAN. And we'll say, hey, you know what? Port two and port three and turn those bad boys on. All right, here we go. All right, I wonder what will happen if I do that ping again 
and we take a look at Wireshark. All right. So as you guys can see, there is still no tagging going on. And that's okay because, like I said, it's a part of the native VLAN. So no tagging should be there. But watch what happens now when we turn this off. And let's go ahead and boot up these bad boys. And just for a control, I'm going to capture this bad boy. All right. And this is just to show you that broadcast traffic isn't going to pass the VLANs. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue setting up our, our VLAN tags here. So number one was the native VLAN, but number two is going to be our 100. All right, so we hit port two, 100, add. And then port three is going to be VLAN 200, add. There we go. And they are access. Remember, uh, the dot one key is only if it's a trunk board. So we hit apply. We hit OK. And when we turn this bad boy on, OK, and we go ahead and we ask for an IP address. So how do we do that? We do A. And let me make sure that this bad boy isn't still pinging. All right. We ask for DHCP. And it'll send out Dora. And as you can see, the one that's on VLAN 2 is not 200 is not getting any of the broadcast traffic, all right? But as you can see here, it made it through the trunk port and the FortiGate did find it and the FortiGate went ahead and it passed it along. So, but what's interesting here is that we now have the VLAN tag, yay! All right, so uh, good times. And that is a X81000, anyways, instead of the normal ethernet frame. All right, anyways, yay! So it worked. Okay, let's try it out on the other side. So let's go here. Let's do DHCP. All right. Da -da Dora. Da -da Dora. Anyone else get Dora the Explorer stuck in their head whenever they do DHCP? All right. Anyways, and as you guys can see here, we now have uh, our VLAN tag. All right. And if we open up that VLAN tag, we should be able to see it somewhere here. See the 100? Yeah. So pretty cool though, huh guys? See the 200? See the 300? We can see our VLAN tags for 200. So, and it worked. All right. So there you guys go. So that is how you can use VLANs in GNS3 using the Ethernet switch. Now that was a horrible video, guys. I'm sorry. So, but I'll still throw it up there. Like I said, I'm I'm sick this weekend. Um, <clears throat> but then again, as a bonus, I guess I'll record videos because I'm stuck home sick. So, all right, guys. So there you guys go. Uh, so VLANs are pretty easy to use in GNS3. But like I said, I have overwhelmed these personally in the past. So if you see this thing like not behaving or dropping packets, uh, go ahead and do the open V switch. Now the open V switch is uh, a separate, you know, CLI and commands and things like that. Uh, there's a little bit more to it. That's why this is a basic VLAN demo. Um, but other than that, as long as the FortiGate's running in layer three mode or NAT mode, you should be fine. So um, hopefully someone found some value to that. I doubt it. And I'll see you guys next time. So, all right, take care.